Welcome to your first class at Arizona Dog Sports. There are a few things you need to know before coming to class, so let's get started. We are located at 12639 North 48th Street between Best Buy and Kids Park. Our cross streets are Tatum and Larkspur. There is ample parking at the south end of the parking lot. The parking lot is very busy, so please keep your dog on leash and be careful crossing the parking lot. Here is what you need to bring with you for class. A four to six foot leash, either leather or nylon. Flexi leads or retractable leashes are not appropriate for training. We recommend that you begin training with either a flat or martingale collar. A flat collar is a basic collar. To be fitted properly, there should be an approximate two finger gap between your dog's neck and the collar. The one disadvantage to a flat collar is your dog can slip out of it. A martingale collar tightens when there is tension on the leash without choking the dog. The advantage of the martingale collar is your dog cannot slip out of it. A snoot loop or gentle leader goes around the dog's neck and muzzle. The dog is actually controlled by the muzzle. This is used when a martingale or no pull harness is ineffective. Some dogs find this uncomfortable at first, but this is a great training tool. If you have a dog that pulls, a no-pull harness might be a good solution. It makes pulling uncomfortable without hurting the dog. Your trainer will advise you on the proper collar for your dog. AZ Dog Sports is a reward-based training facility. We use small, soft, high-value treats, not kibble or what you would normally feed your dog, as an incentive in training your dog. You may purchase these high-value treats at AZ Dog Sports, or you can bring your own. On class days, we ask that you only feed your dog about half of what you normally would. The treats will make up the rest. A treat pouch is required to make access of the treats easy. The timing of the treat is really important in training your dog. If you are fumbling in your pockets or a Ziploc bag for the treat, you may miss that timing. You can purchase your treat pouch at AZ Dog Sports. Ask about our flashcard training kit, which includes treats and a treat pouch. We carry all of your training accessories. Your trainer and our staff will help equip you with everything you need to be successful in training your dog. Arrive 10 minutes early before every class and attempt to potty your dog, even if your dog went before leaving home. The potty area is located at the south end of the parking lot near the stop sign. Please be courteous to your neighbors and pick up your dog's solid waste using the bags provided in the potty area. Then place the bag in the trash can also located in the potty area. The lobby is not a doggy meet and greet. Please keep your dog 8 to 10 feet from other dogs. If the lobby is full or your dog is a barker, you may need to wait outside. Always keep your dog on leash, under control, and at your side. If you need help, ask a staff member. At your first class only, please fill out the liability waiver as instructed. For puppies, you will need to bring in vaccination records showing at least two rounds of distemper parvo. Before every class, sign the logbook. Find your class, print your name, and then your dog's name. When invited by your trainer or staff, you may enter your class through the black gate in the lobby. The gate slides to your right. There are cubby holes along the left wall for you to store your belongings while in class. Please don't forget to take your belongings when class is over. Drinking fountains, water bowls, kennels, and restrooms are located at the back of the training area. The kennels are for agility and other classes where only one dog will be on the floor at a time. The others will wait their turn in a kennel. If you are taking one of these classes, your dog must be crate trained. If your dog has an accident, you are responsible for cleaning it up. There are several cleanup stations located in the training area. Step 1. Use paper towels to soak up pee or pick up poop. Step 2. Put the soiled paper towels in a poop bag and tie it off. 
Step 3. Spray down the floor area with Simple Green. Step 4. Use the cloth towels to wipe up the Simple Green and then put the towels in the bucket. Please do not use the cloth towels to soak up pee or pick up poop. Step 5. Dispose of the poop bag in the trash can located outside the facility by our front door. Poop bags are not to be disposed of inside the facility either in trash cans or the towel buckets. When your class has ended, another class will be waiting to enter the training area. Please gather up your belongings and exit using the gate to your right, sliding it left. And remember, the front door area is a no potty zone. Thank you for coming to Arizona Dog Sports. We hope you and your dog have a great experience.